I'd like to thank Grammarly for sponsoring this video. Hey guys, salut, this is Alex. Welcome back to the fried rice series where I'm trying to master chow fan, so fried rice, at a restaurant level. So far in this journey, I've been over hills and valleys, buying gear, tasting real fried rice, making my own stove. I've been practicing the technique. I've been learning the theory. So today here I am almost at the end of this series. And it's basically judgment day. In a few minutes, I've got the chef Samuel Lisa coming to this place. The chef from Shang Palace in Paris, the Michelin star Chinese restaurant. And he agreed to evaluate my skills. If I said the pressure is on, it would be an understatement. Now, as I told you in the previous episode, I don't think I'm gonna be able to impress the chef with just the regular fried rice. I need to go beyond that. At the end of the previous episode, I wanted to add more me personality in this dish. So this morning, I went to the market. There's an open air market nearby. Artisans, butcher, a chicken rotisserie. And I've been buying local seasonal produces. I'm gonna incorporate them inside my fried rice. Anyways, he should be there any minutes. Okay. Okay. Hello, Chef. Hello, Alex. How are you? How are you? It's good to see you, Chef. Come on Me in, too. come on in. Welcome. Yes. Wow. Nice space. This is the stove. Nice space. You like it? Wow. <laughs> You introduce this one. I, I love it's uh, really professional. Eh? So it's definitely not as powerful as you're using your restaurant. Mm. But for me, it's doing just fine. You want one for yourself? You want me to build another one for your <laughs> garden parties, maybe? <laughs> it's a good idea. With this stove, it goes from medium low to medium high. Okay. Where, where with your stove, it went from super low to super high. Yes. So maybe the amplitude of that stove is a bit narrower. But so far, I think it can work. I hope everything's gonna be fine. Let's go? Let's go. Okay, so you're ready, man. You're I'm ready. ready. Okay, let's go. Cool. Trying to wake it up. I think I fucked up the soy sauce. Come in. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you, chef. You're the best. And a few pickles just for good measure. Okay, and now a few words from our sponsor, Grammarly. Grammarly is a digital writing assistant that I have used and paid for for almost a year now. It is incredibly easy to set up, install, and get started. You just download the browser extension, create a free account, and you are good to go. The free version of Grammarly is great. It helps you with your spelling, your grammar, and your punctuation. But the premium version goes way beyond. Grammarly Premium enables you to write more readable, concise and effective text among many other features. It's been an amazing product that has been really helpful. I have this annoying tendency when writing my emails or even my video script to get, uh, you know, a little convoluted when writing my own sentences. And this for sure comes from my mother tongue complexity. French. Grammarly Premium has an awesome feature that identifies these sentences. The synonym suggestions find more effective words for my overused ones. The clarity features also helps and ultimately it makes my writing more readable and more compelling. You can get started with Grammarly today by going to grammarly.com slash French guy where you can sign up for a free account and get 20% off for a Grammarly premium account. Save time on your work and emails with Grammarly. That's grammarly.com slash French guy to sign up for a free account and get 20% off for a Grammarly premium. Thank you again for sponsoring this video.
Okay. Wow. Thank you, chef. This is the moment. Yes, the moment. <laughs> I've been making a few series. Every time I try to pick one dish that looks simple, like croissant, for example. <laughs> Everybody can make it average, but only pastry chef can make them excellent. Yeah. That was one of the very reason why I, I came to your restaurant. What is good fried rice in the first place? You have a good choice. <laughs> <laughs> so happy today Chin. to see this fried rice. Thank you, man. Let's try it. Yes. Mm. Okay. It's really good okay. for me because um, the rice are not too dry okay. and one by one are separate and the combination Mm -hmm. is totally uh, nice okay. for me it's a surprise when we were at your restaurant yeah you told me the technique must be original. Taste original. Ingredient. We use the local ingredient. And so I thought if, if I just make for you fried rice with eggs, scallions and rice, I'm not a Chinese chef. Mm. So you're, you will never be impressed by my technique. So I'm thinking I must bring something beyond that. And that's why I've, I've been bringing memories. You uh, make the both is uh, inspire me. <laughs> okay. The technique, okay. you, you are improved and also the combination is first time I tried. It's the first time you try? Yes. Okay, it's the first time I try as well. So. <laughs> this dish is a reference to a childhood memory of mine. For Sunday lunch with my family, we would have roast chicken along with crisps so potato chips and we would have a salad on the side. And that's basically what I've been trying to replicate. I bought some rotisserie chicken, I chopped up the dark meat and then I added some peas for freshness to mimic the salad, a few pickles just to get the dressing vibe and some super fine potato chips powder because I thought it's gonna bring the potato flavor and I made this because when I asked what was the dish that your mom made for you at home and you say very simple fried rice yes. so if I want to make it taste of my home and that's how I would twist it without mm. you know changing it too much fried rice egg rice and scallion is the base mm -hmm. the ingredient you can have a different combination. So maybe we can evaluate how good the dish is from one to 10. Let's say if zero is fried rice takeaway in France. Okay. You know, really mushy, <laughs> ah, just, just pure, pure, pure mashed potato okay. texture. Okay, so that's zero. And then proper Cantonese fried rice, like for example at your restaurant, that's Perfect. 10. Where is this one? Just be honest, okay? I'll, uh, for me? I think have a... Uh, I'm eating because I've got anxiety. Seven point. Seven. Seven. It's good. I, I thought I would get less than this. Seven. Seven, man. Cool. That's good. So yeah. what is the field that I can improve on? The scramble egg is um, a little bit more hot, but it's okay. fine. It's fine. I mean, the first batch that I did, the eggs were black. When the temperature is too high, the egg will be overcooked. But when the temperature is too low, mm -hmm. they will stick on the yes. wok. The wok should be uh, going to wet color. The, when the wok is almost red. Yes. Almost yes. like opening the pores of the yes. wok and then the oil gets yes, like yes. a non-stick coating. Yes, because the wok is super hot, <laughs> you put the cold oil, will okay. decrease the temperature. The last mm. step, high heat to make the rice have a wok. Hey, after you put the rice in the bowl, you still see, see the steam. steam. That's beautiful. Oh, yes. Thank you, chef, so much. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You. Guys, sorry to interrupt Alex here from the studio, but I've got something to share with you. We made for the series a poster. Oh, the path to fried rice. A good sum up of all the adventures I've been through in this journey. If you want to get yours, head over to frenchguycooking.com slash shop. Okay, back to it. It's been a pleasure, chef. Thank you so much for coming to this place. I learned so much. You yeah. are the best, man. You are the best, Alex. <laughs> Have a safe trip back. And I hope yeah. we can learn another dish together someday. Yes. Like maybe bacon duck or... Dim sum? Dim sum. Dim sum yeah. would be amazing, man. Okay. okay. See you soon, Alex. Bye-bye, man. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Ciao. So, guys, how do I feel at the moment? Well, I feel good.
I've been practicing a lot, I've been studying a lot for this moment. And the fact that the chef evaluated my skill at seven, unexpected. So thanks to the chef, I did understand a few things, especially the beginning and the end of the recipe. I need to crank up the heat. I need to open the metal spore before I cover them in oil. And also I need to lower the heat afterwards using cold oil before I introduce the eggs to the wok. And then he also mentioned something interesting about the end of the recipe. I need to wake up the ingredients, extract the maximum flavor from them by applying crazy heat for a very short period of time. I need to work on my walk hay. Work on my walk hay. I mean, in the end, it's a very enjoyable thing for me to have been validated by a Cantonese superstar. Now, what is the takeaway? No pun intended. What is the takeaway for you guys? How do you replicate fried rice at home? Well, I can't cover that now, but I will in the next episode. So in the meantime, you take care. Bye-bye. Salut.